RGB histogram, red, green, blue. Right, three primary colors making up your picture. The one thing that I'm worried about is I will take a look at my blue, red, green, blue. So we'll have, let's just say that as a blue. And then my green comes in and it does that. I want my red to come out of shadows and go back down into highlights in the same sort of fashion. But what happens sometimes, especially with Caucasian skin tone or light Hispanic or Asian, lighter skin tones, typically this is where I find it. If there's not like, and I'm not talking pure white blown out background, just normal kind of setup, suddenly there's a spike in the red channel. That's typically the red channel in the skin starting to blow out. When it's your normal sort of scene, it's an average background, it's not too dark, it's not pure black, it's not pure white, it's just your average background, it's your average number of, you know, colors on a clothes. And I'm looking at my camera and I usually have blinking highlights turned, I always have blinking highlights turned on. And there's nothing blinking at me, but I'll check the RGB histogram and I see this sudden huge red spike in the red channel that typically mean, I feel like Edward Scissorhands up here, <laughs> that I am plus two-thirds of a stop over exposed. What I have found is that means that like on the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones are blowing out of exposure. If there shouldn't be something blowing out of an exposure like a well, pure white wall. That red spike shouldn't be that high up when all the other channels are not that high up. So therefore, if I will bring my exposure down two-thirds of a stop, that red spike disappears and I keep all the information in all of the channels.